Welcome to Philip Futures Market Watch. My name is Lee Zhen Hui, and I'm investment analyst with Philip Futures. While global micro risks remain a stumbling block to global economic recovery and dampening external demand conditions, in particular the risk emanating from Eurozone, growth potential in 2013 may surprise on the upside. In US, recovery in the housing sector could continue to be supportive of consumer sentiment. New home sales and existing home sales have been trending upwards and are likely to continue its current momentum. This, coupled with business sentiment picking up in the light of more fiscal policy clarity, could help US to register a respectable growth figure. With the smooth leadership transition in China, more supportive monetary and fiscal policy measures could be rolled out in 2013 to ensure the continued stability in growth as Chinese economic data appeared to have bottomed out in the second half of 2012. Hence, we are optimistic of the economic performance of Indonesia in 2013. Even if we were to discount the potential upside surprise in global growth, Indonesia could still maintain its robust growth trajectory driven by two pillars of growth, namely investment and private consumption. These two pillars, investment denoted in red, private consumption denoted in blue, have been consistently delivering positive contributions to drive growth over the past few quarters. There are three things to look out for in 2013. Firstly, current account deficit may pose a risk to the macro stability of Indonesia. Current account deficit in developing nations may sometimes occur due to investment opportunities outstripping capital available for investment via domestic savings. As long as foreign investors remain confident that the current account deficit in Indonesia is caused by investment-led growth, which would in turn increase the long-term growth potential, we do not foresee a massive portfolio outflow or a significant reduction in FDI. Secondly, policymakers could be pressured by current account deficit to tighten fiscal policy. If this scenario plays out, it would dampen the domestic demand. Fuel price hike may feature as one of the measures to rein in on the deficit. This would lead to inflation overshooting official target of 3.5 to 5.5%. Over the past decade, there have been three occasions when actual inflation breached upper limit of the inflation target. Could 2013 see another overshoot of inflation target? Thirdly, the Indonesian election in 2014. Due to the upcoming election, we expect to see more political posturing which could complicate decision-making in the government towards the end of 2013. More populist measures could be rolled out which tend to boost private consumption. Due to Indonesia's growth potential in 2013, investors could consider keeping MSCI Indonesia index futures in the radar while constructing investment portfolio. In the scenario that global growth gains traction and risk aversion subsides further, funds may flow into emerging market with good long-term potential and this is beneficial to equity performance in Indonesia. For more information on the risks and returns of investing in stock index futures, please approach any representative from Philip Futures for a further discussion. Thank you and stay tuned for more Market Watch videos.